right. Well, we're here in Boulder, Colorado with David Adamson of EcoBuild. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the house that we worked on together um, in 2006 that we started. And, uh, you know, wanted to just maybe start off with some of your intentions for the project and, and how you, you started. Well, as a green building material manufacturer's rep, I was always trying to make it easy for people to develop very low impact but very successful buildings. Mm -hmm. You know, I've been been talking to people about how to do it, but I hadn't done it myself. I've been wanting to, and so finally we were able to do it on this lot here in Boulder. We worked with Rocky Mountain Institute at first with the Victor Oljai, uh, with Rocky Mountain Institute, which is fantastic. And, and um, you know, the idea was to build a model building that really got at this point of, well, what is a truly low, no impact building? How do we, how do we approach that? But since it was a model building, it had to be a successful building, it had to be a comfortable building, it had to be a beautiful building, and then it had to be an affordable building <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> because we didn't, uh, you know, we're, we're a young family and, we're, and we, so it needed to work for us yeah, uh, on many levels. Right. And we, we turned to you, luckily you had, had a, you know, a very sympathetic um, view of this with a lot of straw bale experience. How do we really bring this idea to life? Mm -hmm. So it was, we were very lucky that we, we got to work together. All right, so David, so knowing you know, roughly you know, what, you, what you wanted, because you had a pretty strong idea coming into it as a materials rep about you know, wanting straw bale construction, wanting low embodied energy local materials, um, you know, we kind of took all those things, took the floor plan that RMI had been working on and kind of massaged it, looked at the local zoning and building codes and just, you know, tried to kind of harmonize all these components um, that we've been working with. And, um, you know, obviously the straw bales are one of the more technically challenging ones that not a lot of people do because it's a 14 inch thick wall and it's a different structural floor system and wall system and window system. And so all those details had to be incorporated in and, um, you know, going back to when I was in Oregon as a student in 98 and I volunteered on the first straw bale house in Eugene, Oregon, I said, you know, this is great, you know, and not having a lot of skill at that time as a construction person, but I was still, it was a low barrier to entry. I was able to get involved in straw bale, put my hands on the mud and put it on the wall. And I said, you know, volunteers can do this. People can learn. This is a great avenue for um, the average person to understand how heavy buildings are and how much energy goes into them just by their own physical labor. <laughs> you know? And we certainly learned that on this project <laughs> with all the volunteers that we had and that was a lot of fun and, and yeah, that was a, yeah. a, a great element of working together with you that we could incorporate those sort of uh, elements that we needed to save money so we used volunteers. I mean that maybe that wouldn't apply to a lot of other people but that's just one of the elements of flexibility that you that you mm -hmm. have so that we, we, we can achieve these kind of, of very high performing but not always high cost buildings and yeah. incorporate different kind of techniques. It might be straw bale, but you do a, a lot of other things. But that, 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 that's, I think, a huge benefit of working together with you was how you could accommodate and be flexible right. with, with, with all the crazy ideas that yeah. we have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then you still end up with an R40 wall, which is you know twice what normal construction is, and the thermal mass really helps in Colorado you know, mitigate the temperature swings and, and the humidity aspects of the, the natural earthen plaster that's locally produced and the beauty of that is, is a really unique thing. So I think yeah, ultimately you get a very technically sophisticated, you know, vapor open product that, you know, is kind of what the latest and greatest is in, the, in, the, in today's um, building science world, but also out of these really old world traditional materials. So it has this great sort of juxtaposition of the, you know, contemporary solar panels that are 10 kilowatt PV system and our solar thermal system and super windows with these, you know, thin films that add solar heat gain on the south and reject it on the other facades. But, um, but you know, also have this real kind of quality that we can connect to as human beings and say, I belong here. It feels comfortable and it doesn't feel like a science experiment. You know, it feels, uh, and that was healthy. true of the process too, is, is my point that it's not easy to do and to be able to, to go through that process and, and um, not have it be a disaster, stay married as I needed to do through the process, and you know, ha have it be a, a, a really satisfying journey. I think that, that was true. Yeah. All right, David. So uh, as you know, Megan and I are building our own straw bell house right now too, and we're halfway through it, but you've been done for seven years now. So what's it like to, to actually live here? It's been, it's been great. It's such a special thing on a super hot summer day to walk in mm -hmm. and it's cool. And there's no air conditioning, right? And yet the building is still very light with all the wonderful natural daylight. It's great when you have two brawling suns, and they 
fall down on the cork flooring and they don't have to go to the emergency room. Right. And to have the yeah. um, no utility bill. To have tenants, you know, we have several tenants, and people are really attracted to the building. Passers by say, what a beautiful, what a beautiful house. Yeah. So it's, nice. it's been great. Cool. Well, yeah, thanks so much for, for sharing your house with some people. And uh, hopefully um, we'll uh, be able to come by again soon and, and spend some time together. So, uh, yeah, we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Thanks. Thank thanks, you. Dave. All right. Cool. Yay. <laughs>